All right, Steelers Nation, we got big time news. Um, James Conner officially signing with the Arizona Cardinals. That means a couple of things. Number one, that means they're going to be a new RB1 next year for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, I know some people are going to be excited about that. That's something that we've been talking about a lot on the podcast as well. But um, as a whole, man, just reacting to James Conner and his deal, a uh, one-year, $1.75 million deal, fully guaranteed, $500,000 uh, for signing bonus. For James, obviously, the money isn't as significant as he probably would have wanted. But as a whole, I think it's a good move for him, man. Um, Growing up, obviously, in Erie and then playing at Pitt, playing for the Steelers, the expectations of, you know, just what people, you know, want from him, just not only on the field, but off the field can be very challenging and difficult. And I think that the expectations that the organization put on him by consistently referring to him as the bell cow back and trying to make him into a Le'Veon Bell type of back, I just don't think that that benefited him as a whole. And I think ultimately that led to his body breaking down the way that it did. Out in Arizona, though, He's going to be a part of an offense where you have Kyler Murray. So number one, the running lanes are going to be crazy because when you're faking the zone read with Kyler Murray back there, people are going to definitely respect Kyler Murray a lot more. So he's going to get some very advantageous one-on-ones or some situations where, you know, all the attention isn't going to be on him, which I think is going to benefit him hugely, hugely. Then on top of that, he has Chase Edmonds out there, man, a younger back, um, very explosive, can get the job done, has been productive out there. And I still don't think that this deters the Cardinals from drafting a running back either. So with James, man, he's going to be in a situation where he can thrive, but at the same time, he's not going to have to be the bell cow back that has 30, 40, or excuse me, not 40 touches, but 20 to 30 touches in a game. And we know, you know, over a 17 game season, how that could ultimately lead to him breaking down from a body standpoint. So as a whole, I like this for him, man. I think he's going to do really positive, you know, out there. Obviously we know, you know, just his pedigree in terms of off the field. So we're never worried about that, but I'm interested to see, you know, like I said, how he continues to progress out there in AZ. So let me know how you feel about him going out to AZ versus returning back to Pittsburgh. And also now that we know it's going to be a new RB1 next year, are we drafting that guy? Or are we rolling with the guys we currently have on the roster? But whatever you do, make sure you subscribe to this video, man, because I know you're liking the content. I love giving you the content. And until next time, baby, peace.